In Australian cities such as Perth, about one in four households has a cat, giving an estimated pet cat population of 3.9 million, providing companionship for their owners. But like all pets, cats face hazards in cities and towns and can cause problems. Fortunately, you can help your cat to live a long, happy life and avoid conflict. Modern technology allows us to investigate cats' lives in new and exciting ways. For example, radio collars allow us to track their movements. Many of you will know a cat like Carly, who wanders from her front yard to the neighbor's front yard and back again, probably on the lookout for pets or treats. Or you may know a bolder cat like Dustpan, who wanders a little further along suburban streets. In semi-rural areas, cats often go further still. Adventurous Max roamed throughout the area bounded in blue in winter and the area bounded in red during summer. But we don't just know where they go. Collar-mounted video cameras record a cat's eye view of their every activity. Here, the camera peers through Norris's whiskers as he strolls along the rooftop, pausing to spy on birds. But this roaming causes risks. The Humane Society of the United States estimates that free roaming pet cats have an average lifespan of three years, compared to 12 to 18 years for indoor cats. Dr. Claire Sharp knows firsthand the risks faced by pet cats in the suburbs of Australia's major cities. She heads the Small Animal Emergency and Critical Care Section at Murdoch University's Animal Hospital in Perth and sees the range and severity of injuries as well as the devastating consequences for cats and their owners. Trauma is by far and away the most common reason that cats present to emergency clinics. That trauma is most commonly motor vehicle accidents, so cats out on the road that are hit by cars but it can also include fight wounds, either cats attacked by dogs or being in fights with other cats, and then a variety of other kinds of trauma, so lacerations from glass or metal, being impaled on fences, all manner of trauma. Of the cats that do present alive to the veterinary clinic, the number of injuries that they sustain and the ability of the owners to afford high level veterinary care really determines the prognosis. Unfortunately, we're still in a situation in Australia where only about a third of pet owners have pet insurance. And so most owners are having to pay completely out of pocket for the cost of veterinary care. And that can be quite prohibitive at times. Cat owner Tony Hodge and his cat Sixpence know only too well the lethal mix of cars and traffic. When we got Sixpence there was a long and healthy tail and he escaped as a kitten and he got hit by a car. And the car fairly broke his tail. When we picked him up there was this bit sticking out normally and the other bit was hanging off at 90 degrees. And now he's just got a stomp. Roaming cats may also fight be attacked by dogs, foxes, predatory birds, or even pythons, or catch serious diseases such as feline immunodeficiency virus, FIV, colloquially known as cat AIDS, or cat leukemia, FLV. Bites are the main way these diseases are transmitted. Roaming cats can also cause problems. The gardens, parks and small reserves where cats roam provide habitat for resident and migratory animals, while encouraging human residents to interact with green spaces and wildlife. In fact, just under half of Australia's threatened wildlife lives in cities or towns. But cats are opportunistic predators known to eat around a thousand different species. So some are concerned that hunting by cats reduces the range and number of wildlife in cities and suburbs. Wildlife rehabilitator Dean Huxley, the manager of Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre Native Ark in suburban Perth, 
sees firsthand the victims of cat attacks. We are a wildlife rehabilitation centre and we're licensed with the state government. We're also a licensed veterinary hospital. So we take in sick and injured wildlife from the public, from rangers, from vet clinics, and we treat them, uh, rehabilitate them, and our ultimate goal is to release those animals back out into the wild. The overall percentage of animals admitted to the centre as a result of cat attacks suggests there is quite a large issue out there surrounding cats and wildlife. You know, less than 40% of our cat attack victims would survive um, that treatment and rehabilitation process. How long does it take for cats to have a major effect on suburban wildlife? People may notice a cat hunting, but does this actually suppress numbers of prey species? Environmental consultant Michael Bamford has some of the answers. He lives on a rare 2,000 square metre block near a nature reserve in Perth's northern suburbs. He planted a native garden to provide habitat for the local fauna, including some animals that migrate from the nearby reserve. A good example of where predator prey relations are out of kilter happened in our garden some years ago, where we had a medium-sized lizard population of one of the striped skinks, um, Latin name Tenotus fatums. We think 30 or 40 living in the garden, and then a neighbour moved in with a couple of cats, and one of the cats pretty much moved into our garden day and night. And within only a few months, the, the um, striped skinks had gone. And that was an example of one very efficient predator, a small population of a vulnerable prey species, and that predator just took out that prey species in a very short period of time. It's not just hunting. Roaming cats may also spread disease, such as toxoplasmosis, to wildlife, or their very presence may distract birds from caring for eggs or nestlings. What can you do if you are concerned about your cat harming wildlife? Well, scientists have tested several devices that can be fitted to collars to reduce successful hunting. Although many owners are skeptical, bells do reduce captures. So too do newer devices, such as pounce protectors. A coloured collar cover warns prey with bright colours. It protects birds and lizards, which have good colour vision. They're a good choice if you want a cat to hunt rodents, which are colour blind, but leave the birds alone. Alarm collars that sound an alarm and flash a light when a cat charges work well too for a range of prey. Some owners don't want to fit their cats with collars because they are concerned about the risk of snagging. However, a properly fitted safety collar you should just be able to slide two fingers under the collar, is very safe. The safety collar should include a breakaway clip that releases if the cat snags, or an elastic insert that stretches and allows the cat to free itself. Remember to check the collar frequently for fit and the condition of the elastic. You can also keep your cat on your property or supervise it when it's outside. After his cat, Sixpence, had an accident with a car, Tony Hodge now uses mesh and fence top rollers to ensure that his cat stays on his property at all times. We've actually fenced the backyard with either mesh or cat rollers. So A, he can't get out. And secondly, he's a very small cat as you can see. So we also make sure that no cats can get in. So he's safe in the backyard. So now you know why cities are hazardous places for cats. What's more, free roaming cats may cause problems such as attacking wildlife. But there are measures you can take that protect your cat and reduce problems. Western Australian law requires that your cat be de-sexed, have microchip ID, be registered with the local council and wear a collar with an ID tag. Doing this and following Tony's example and keeping your cat on your property at all times will fulfil your legal obligations, keep your loved cat safe and help keep the peace with the local wildlife, including the estimated 46% of Australia's threatened fauna species that live in cities and towns. To find out more, visit the Happy at Home site here you'll find lots of tips to help your cat live a long, happy and healthy life at home. There are links to good advice from other sites across Australia and even overseas. 
And remember, cats that stay on their owner's property live on average four to six times longer.